Hi and welcome. My mission is to enable students to love and enjoy maths by making math simple for them to understand. So these videos are very detailed for the purpose of helping them understand rather than simply memorizing the concepts. I'm Benjamin, author of 18 math guidebooks found in all major bookshops and personal tutor to more than 2,500 students over the last 20 years. Remember to subscribe for more of my teaching and student motivation videos. For a printable copy of this question, please join my Telegram group found in the description below. Let's start to really understand maths. Okay, so uh, let's begin solving this question. Huh? Uh, Li Jie, since you didn't do this question, how about you read the keywords to me? Katie and David each go Oh, same mess at first. What? KT divided do equal equal parts. Nine mass ninety grams each part. Two star shake cookies. Or use to bake two star shake cookies. Okay. David. David divided. Uh, same thing lah. So David do equal parts, right? Okay. Then? 150 grams. Okay. Each part. Yes. Use. To bake what? Six. Heart shaped cookies. Heart shaped cookies. Okay. 72 more heart shaped cookies. Then star shaped cookies, right? Okay. Then uh, what's the question asking? K Katie and David all together. Katie and David, cookies lah, cookies all together, right? Actually, actually, cookies all cookies all together, and then David pack twenty pack twenty two boxes contain five cookies. Some boxes five cookies. Rest contain rest nine cookies. Mm -hmm. Contain nine cookies. Okay, so how many boxes nine? Okay, so uh, what, what, what is the first thing that you all notice here in this question should be that they had the dough was the same mass at first. Okay, normally when you talk about same mass, uh, they, they are talking about common multiples. Okay, normally. Uh, so they say that Katie divided her dough into equal parts of 90 grams and David divided his into equal parts of 150. So my first the first thing I want you guys to pay attention to is this thing that I just read to you, which is that for Katie, it was equal parts of 90. For David, it was equal parts of 150. But since they have the same mass at first, then it must be a multiple of both these numbers. Otherwise, they cannot be equal. Do you understand? It must be a common number that they share. Otherwise, how to be equal, right? So the first thing I want to do is to find a common number for 90 and 150. What do you think is the nearest number you can think of that is both 90 and 150? What is the lowest common multiple of 90 and 150? What is the lowest common multiple of 90 and 150? Anyone? Lucas, you should know this, come on. Lowest common multiple of 90 and 150. This shouldn't be very difficult. 125. Common multiple. Eh? 1,250. Okay, but that's not the lowest one. The lowest one is actually, if you take 90 times 6 uh, times 5, and if you take 150 times 3, you will get 450 each. So the lowest common multiple is 450, okay? Let's work with 450 first. Can we do that? So based on that, if let's say now we talk about, so this one would be, uh, Katie and this one would be David, right? Okay, so let's say Katie has 450 grams of dough. So what, what her model looks like is this. This will be Katie's model, right? This will be David's model. Okay, the reason I'm asking you to look at it as lowest common multiple is so that y'all can have a visual. So this is the visual. The visual is like this. If let's say, uh, how many parts do I cut this into on top? What do you think? Nitya, what do you think? I should cut this into how many parts? Five. Very good, huh? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And Lucas, what should I cut the bottom into? Three. Is that what is that? Okay, I think he said three. So I'm just going to take it as three, okay? 
So this is 150 grams each. So what happens is this, uh, each of these boxes here become how many cookies? Lijie, what do you think? One box of this is 90 grams. And what did she do with the 90 grams? Each part, she used it to make two star-shaped cookies. Okay, so this is two star-shaped cookies, right? Okay, and then how about this one? What do you think, Lijie? Six heart-shaped cookie, right? Okay, so two star and six heart. Okay, Wait, wait, I think his, uh, his connection is no good. We carry on first, okay? So, there were 72 more heart shape than star shape. Now, Nijie, can you tell me, right, based on the fact that this is a 2 and this is a 6, okay? I'm not saying that this is the actual number, but this is a, um, a proportion of the actual number. How many hearts do you think this will become? How many heart shapes would there be if this is the case? I cannot hear you, Nijie. 18. 18 hearts, huh? Okay, 18 hearts. So, it's basically 6 times 3, right? 6 times 3 give you 18 heart. How about on top? 10. 10, huh? very good. So, this one will be 10 star-shaped cookies. Now, this is 10 star. Now, we are going to come to the next important thing, which is we will need to now look at this part, which says that there were 72 more heart-shaped than star-shaped cookies. If I were to take the 18 here and minus away the 10, what does this tell you? The difference is 72 heart-shaped cookies. But if I take 18 minus 10, what do I get? 8. 8. I don't get 72. I get 8. So, what does that tell you about this diagram that I drew? It is a what? It represents what? The start. No, no. It represents one what? This represents one set or one group. Understand? So the reason why when you take 18 minus 10, should you expect to get 72? Yes, but you do not. So the reason you do not is because what we just drew only represents one set and there are many sets. Okay, so if this is one set, then I'm going to work on one set first, right? So for one set, we have... 2 divided by 8. Uh, yes, but before that, we have to show how we get the 8, right? So we need to write that out. Huh? So we're going to write that out over here. Uh, 18 minus 10. Yes. Wait, yeah. This is too light already. Hang on. 18 minus 10 will give you a difference of 8, but you should get 72. So you said 72 divided by 8 just now, right? 9. And you will get 9 what? Okay, cookies. No. 9 what? Think a little bit. Come on. 9 sets, 9 sets. Exactly. Okay, what's the point of doing sets if I'm not going to get sets? <laughs> I do all this for nothing. Okay, so this will give you nine sets. Okay, so if I got nine sets, right, it means that I got nine of this. Not one. Eh. This is just one of them and they are all together nine of these. So if they are all together nine of this, then let's answer the first question. How many cookies did Katie and David have all together? Now, can you tell me in one set, we're still dealing with one set here, right? In one set, how many cookies are there? Li Jie? Um, two. How much? Total, total. 28. 28, right? Good. One set is made up of 10 star-shaped cookies and 18 heart-shaped, giving you 28 cookies. Now, this represents one set, but there are how many sets? Nine, so 28. What should I do? Very good, you're right. It's 9. So what should I do now? 28 times 9. Very good. Clever. Well done. Excellent. So 28 times 9 is 180 plus 72. So that should give you 252. Can you check that on the calculator for me, please? Just Can you just press and make sure you, I get 252? Yeah, the answer is 252. It is, huh? Okay, very good. So I have answered the first question. How many cookies did Katie and David bake all together? Answer is 252 cookies. So now I'm going to go on to part B. Part B says that David packed his cookies into 22 boxes. So, Li Jie, what do you think? Before I can even do this question, I must first know what about David. What should I find out first about David before I even do anything else? How many grams? No, no, no. How many what? Not grams. How many what? How many cookies? Yes. How many cookies, right? So, David... He, how many cookies did he make? What do you think? The clue is that there are nine sets. And the cookies that David made are called hearts. So how many cookies did he make? Lucas, you can answer also. Huh? 
don't type to me, huh, Lucas. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, reading. you hear me. Yes, I can hear you. One hundred eighty. Uh, how do you get one hundred eighty? Uh, two five two minus seventy two. Two five two minus seventy. Why do you minus seventy two? Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. That one is uh for the star. That one for KT, never mind. Okay, it is actually correct. It's nine times something. Nine times what? Nine times three. In one set, how many heart shaped cookies are there? Nine times eighteen. Exactly. Nine times eighteen. Okay. So nine times eighteen will be ninety plus seventy-two. So it's one six two. Can you double check that for me? It's correct or not? 162, is it correct? Right, it's correct. Correct, huh? Okay. So, this 162 cookies, he is going to put it into 22 boxes. Right? Some boxes contain 5, some boxes contain 9. How many contain 9? So, this is where we use the 5 step method. But since you guys are in P6, I assume you have a better ability to do it already. So, what do you think is the first step? Do you remember the 5 step method? The one that I created for you guys? Do you remember? Li Jie, do you remember how many uh, how many rows there should be? How many ro how many lines and how many how many lines this way and how many lines this way? I told you all to memorize this before. Columns. Yeah, how many rows? How many columns? Three columns. And how many rows? Six. Uh, six lines. Huh? six lines will create five columns. But it's correct. Huh? Oh, sorry, five rows. So three, four, five, and six. Okay. So now we're gonna put in the values that we have. Found. And in the first one on top, you are going to write the big and K K T. Big, uh, big and small, right? Yeah. No, no, no. This question only has David. No more K T already. Um, nine cookies and two. Um, big and. Small. Yeah. So this will be times nine, and this one will be times. Times five. Five exactly. Now we know that we have a total of twenty-two boxes. So how do we start? 22 times 9 and 22 times 5 No, you can't take 22 times both So 22 times what, uh, 9 And, and what times 5? 9 times 5 Okay, Li Jie, I give you a clue huh? If all the 22 boxes are big How many small boxes are there? There are only 22 boxes And all of them are big So how many small boxes are there? Zero uh, Zero, exactly So this will give you Zero, zero And this will give you 198 Okay Now Li Jie Can you tell me right If this 22 Is your total Number of boxes I need to have A target number Remember For this method There is a target number Can you tell me What is the target number We already found it No This question is not About David one, and Katie 162 162 Very good This is your target number Right So you should now Get 162 Okay, so your target is 162 and then on top here is the word total. Alright, so if this is 198 and 0, what is the next step? What do you think? I taught you this before many times already. Come on. you got to go down one step. So what should you get? 21 times 9. And the other one will be? Um... Zero times No, no, it's not zero anymore It is One times five One times five Otherwise, how are you going to add up to 22, right? You're going to get 22 boxes ma. Okay, so 198 uh, Now I'm going to add up these two numbers, okay? I'm going to add up these two 198 and zero And this should give me 198 Li Jie, what is the next one? Um, 19 what? 194 Very good, huh? Very good You take 198 plus five, right? Clever, well done So now uh, we have to do the final step, which is minus minus divide. And then um, one nine eight minus one nine four. Yes, and then. Uh, then the the um, one nine eight. Again minus. Minus twenty two. Eh hey, no, minus one six two. Yes, very good. So yeah. this minus this, this minus this, right? Answer divide. Answer divide. Ah, huh? okay, good. So this is four. This is 36 and 36 divided by 4 will give you 9. Ah, now what do I do with the 9? Where do I put it? There's a special place to put it I said before, right? Where do you put it? Lucas, do you know? Okay, there's a, I told you before, I think you forgot, but it's okay. There's so many things, right? You are supposed to put it in the middle. 
middle column. Huh? There's one column, two column, three columns, right? You're supposed to put it in the middle column over there where the pink thing is. Okay, so when you do that, what is the purpose of this, this row for? DJ, do you remember? Check. Is to check, right? Is to check, huh? Yeah. So if this is 9, how much is this one? 22. No. If you get 22 here and 9 here, how do you get 22 here? Um, 153. No, 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 no. This 9 is boxes, okay? These are boxes. So how many boxes are there here? They should always add up to this number, right? 13. Yes. So you got to take 22 minus 9. Now this 9 represents the small. So if you take 22 minus 9, you will get 13 small boxes. So 22, sorry, 22 minus 9 is 13. So this is 13 times 9. So this row allows you to check your answer. Okay, that's why it was created this way. So here you got 90 plus 27. And here you got 9 times 5. And if you add it together, you should get 162. Okay, and we do. So, we have answered the question. How many boxes contain 9 cookies? Come, Nietzsche, big or small? The answer is already there, actually. Small, 13 small. How many boxes contain 9 cookies? Oh, um, 13. 13, right? Oh, wait, I wrote the wrong number here. You should write big, right? Yeah. This is boxes. So, the answer is... 13 because this is the answer so the answer is here and we are done okay can you understand Lijie? Lucas do you understand the question okay all right great guys you did very well especially Lijie. I think you basically did the whole question with me okay yes very good Lijie. I'm very proud of you were the explanations clear and useful for you let me know by leaving your questions in the comments below Remember to subscribe for more teaching and student motivation videos. And if you are serious about your child's future, call or WhatsApp me at the number found in the description below to help your child score and excel while studying less. I'll see you again.